Okay, to get the first part of this video out of the way, there's two seven millimeter screws that are holding this faceplate in place into the dash. If you get a screwdriver and you start prying around this area, you're able to pull that all out in one piece. Next is four seven millimeter screws holding the actual um, rest of the stereo in place. Once you do, it's a simple slip out. Then you have the radio and antenna and main harness back here to disconnect. And once we do that, I'm gonna be installing the Skoosh, Skosh kit um, as well as an Android 10 inch um, radio or head unit. And we'll go from there. Um, the first step of this is actually to put the engage the parking brake. Go ahead and put your shifter into the furthest you possibly can, which is M mode in this automatic. And then go ahead and pry this off and up. That'll give you access to these two seven millimeter screws that are in here, or bolts that are in here to hold the face plate in. All right, this one was a little bit harder, but the next step basically is going to be using this Dremel to make the cut and remove this entire little plastic piece that kind of went out to this mark and then back down. So, and there's also one screw, it's just a regular screw that's behind there. It's literally where my finger's coming out, right above that. And when you get that out, you'll be able to make the cut without any problems. Okay, so this is working on the actual wiring harness. So you're going to do black, so ground to ground, and then it's going to be, I have my illumination plus my AC accessory volt, 12 volt going to the red. So both of these together so that my uh, radio illuminates whenever the ignition is on. And then yellow is going to be battery to battery. And all this will connect to the back of here. And then it's like this. Okay, so you guys need to use this adapter that comes with the kit in order for you to adapt the actual radio to it. The setup is pretty straightforward. You just adapt the uh, female versions into your male versions and then go ahead and connect to the back of here. Hold down the scoosh menu to get the installer menu open and then start installing your options. Steering wheel controls are a little bit more complicated. Um, so this is what I've come up so far with the steering wheel controls. Okay guys, so here's the steering wheel control output that comes with the Scooch kit. You're going to need to buy one of these off Amazon. It's a 3.5 millimeter female to bare wire adapter. And they basically go to the Android key 1 and key 2. Pink. Looks like pink to the black and then green to the red. I'm not sure if the polarity matters or not. But this allows you to program the steering wheel controls. But you have to go to steering learn, click on the thing, then hit the corresponding button. It'll say success, and then you'll have your controls. Uh, for the way that Androids are, they're a little bit larger than, you know, what they're going to be for this specific kit here. So we had to trim, and yeah, it's going to look a little ugly right now, but I'm going to end up wrapping it. Um, it's going to be completely concealed though by this. So once that'll be in place, uh, you won't be able to tell or see that there was anything wrong. It's hard to tell, but do you see that light green wire right there? That's where I have my positive to the camera attached. This particular model didn't require me to use this negative. Um, don't forget that this is going to be for your head unit to make sure to thread that through as well because then you have to redo it okay so what you're going to want to do now is route these wires forward you can tuck them underneath the seat here tuck them underneath this portion follow that all the way across and run it similarly if you wanted to how i have these wires ran up here then they would go to here then to the head unit you're going to want to cross that wire over this under here open the glove compartment run it through this area here and get it to pop out in the final spot there.